Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create a parallel approval workflow for your site page library using Power Automates for SharePoint Modern Framework. So that means we can do these things only for the modern pages in SharePoint environment. So let's suppose if I create a new page from here, that is my modern page. So this will be goes for an approval one. Once the approver approve that, then only we can publish this one. So this is the requirement. Let's just talk about how we can do that. I'll go in my flow section on my page library and click on this configure page approval workflow. And here I'll click on this create flow. It will ask you for some details here flow name and the approvers the flow name is submit sharepoint page approval you can add it if you want it so this is the built-in template we are having an approver i can provide the as many as approver i want so i'll be providing my name here and one of the other usernames so there is a two approver just click on this create one page approval flow created go in your flow and open your submit sharepoint page for approval and right now there is no history run. So just show you that how it's actually work. I'll click on add it and you'll see that for selected items, that means uh, in my, this particular site, this is the list name. You can see there is a ID defined to this particular one. So I'll just show you that how you can get this ID. If there you go in a drop down, there is no options for, you know, page library selection. So you can see your library ID just go to your library setting and there you can see the ID for that one all right and you can paste that here and uh, the second uh, step is scope so what scope is basically doing scope is nothing but as you know collecting your all step in a once so that means the similar kind of step that you perform you put that into a scope it's a kind of similar kind of stage things in our SharePoint designer we used to have. So just that. And uh, in a scope, there is one input that you cannot uh, initialize a variable here. You have to initialize that variable on the top of your flow. So that's the thing. But let's just focus on this one. So in a scope, we have get file property, uh, my site address, my list name, and the ID of my page. So that means the page library, the specific page we have created, we have the ID for that page. And then uh, what we are doing is we are getting the metadata of that particular page is the identifier. That means the identifier here will be the file property. That means the name of the file will be the file identifier. And in the sent content approval status, so what is doing is basically in your site page library, the ID section is ID and the action is submit, which is the default one. So that means uh, once your page is created, this particular set content approval status will set the status of that particular page to submit and after their approval reject, which will be our next date. And E tag is basically your uh, file identifier property, which is there in your set content approval status action and uh, after that it start an approval things to you approve or reject and it is assigned to two of the user which we have provided when we created this one and there is a detail and link provided here it goes for the approval and after that there is a condition setup if you can see the response is equal to approve then it will go to and set the status as approved and send email notifications to that particular user and if no it will if you reject this one it will goes in this section and a status will be updated to rejected and email notification will be sent to that particular user so this is the way uh, it is actually perform all the action so let's just uh, do one thing. I'll create a new page here. That's my site page. This is the modern page I'm creating. And I'll just name it approval. So instead of publishing here, we have submit for approval option here. I'll just click this one.
it will ask me to continue with my credential here and uh, a message anything you want to say to the approver so hi please approve my page and click on submit so now it has been submitted so what you can see in your page library now is because I have set myself as an approval also the status here is pending right now and you can see the review approval I'm getting so it will be uh, visible to only those have been set up as approver because I've set myself as an approver that's why I'm able to see it and uh, if I go to my emails I will have this an email that approval is there and the message I've sent please approve my page so I can click on approve here and before going ahead I'll just show you this uh, I have set one more user as an approver we'll see that if that user get that on same request or not so if I go to that approver email also it's basically a different user you can see the same message came to this particular user so now the situation is that either this user or either this user approve so once any of them has approved this particular one it will be disabled to other user also all right so let me just click on this one and type something that like approved click on the submit approval status is approved and once I go in my other account and try to approve this one now from this particular email it will say that other have already completed this request that means the other user has approved this one so I cannot approve it so this is the user parallel approval workflow when you know one of the approvers is not able to approve the other can approve with the without any in the requirement of the other approvers so this is the way and I think I should have this email notification your page was approved and published by this user comment is approved and it is now ready to publish so this is the way you can uh, create and parallel approval workflow for your page library and can set up you know some kind of restriction that everyone cannot create a pages over there I hope you like this video if you do like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching